guys to this week's vlog and welcome back to my channel. This week I'm heading to the barn. Happy's getting his monthly trim. He gets trimmed every four weeks, barefoot trimming of course. And then I'm hoping I can do like a barn clean day. I can clean my tack. Hopefully I can give Happy a bath because his tail has been orange for like the past month or more. <laughs> Um, but the wash rack has been kind of like busted for a little bit. So I'm hoping I can give him a bath, hoping I can clean my tack. I've cleaned my boots already at, at my house. And then I'm gonna do a quick ride. So I like to get Happy out after his trim and ride, do like an easy, um, stretchy kind of ride because he does have a tendency to get tight if I don't do that from just having to hold his legs up and stuff. And with his PSSM, it's just easier for me to do that afterwards. I did ride him one time before and it made no difference. So definitely need to do that afterwards. And that has been helping him for the last several trips. So yeah, so I'm gonna head out now. Um, I'll see you guys when I get to the barn and then I'll try to get some footage of him getting his feet done. So I'll see you guys there. Treats out for you. Good boy. All right. Two more in my pocket, but I'm trying to get out. Very difficult with one hand. Okay. Here we go. Show you a little bit of what I'm working with here. Thankfully, he rolled and got some of it off, but oh my god. Happy, why you gotta get so dirty and gross, man? Got this. had to roll and lay in your mud. You get you more mats, huh, for winter time. So you're not a little mud goblin. Okay, is there mud anywhere else? Alright, let's see. Go under to happy. This side looks alright.
right, your feet are done. I'm gonna go put Happy back so he can get some water and possibly pee if he needs to. And then I'll get on and ride. So I'll see you guys when I uh, get tucked out. All right. Got some water, I see, and I'll look here for you. All right, let me go do your treat ball, and then we'll tack up. Handsomest pony. Oh my goodness, you're so pretty. All right guys, welcome back to this voiceover. I wanted to point out his trot work here because I'm really proud of him and our progress with getting him to slow his legs down but not shorten his stride. So we've been doing a lot of lateral work and I've started to incorporate a lot of extension and um, collection in our rides. And that's kind of what we've been working on in our lessons too. And I think it's been making a huge difference for him. So I feel like he's definitely still keeping the same stride length that he was before, but he's starting to understand that he doesn't have to go like as fast and he can start getting a little bit more suspension and impulsion in his trot. So here I'm working on the extension and on this ride, he kept wanting to pop his head up, but that's fine. I figure, you know, we just started working on the extensions and he's not quite sure how to how to lift through his top line all the way, I think, to, to get them done successfully. Um, he also just had his trim, so while I don't think he was foot sore, I'm sure it felt a little different because she trimmed his feet and they were a little bit different balance, probably. But yeah, so this was our trot work and went really well. He felt really, really good at the trot today. Right, and then asking for the right lead in this ride, he was really struggling to keep his gait. Um, I feel like he wasn't wanting to stay on that left hind for very long, which has kind of been our issue in this arena. He gets flat and then starts swapping or pacing. So I tried a few different things to see what would help him. So the first thing I tried was just to push him into a faster canter, which as you see just led him to get even more flat and wanting to pace. So we stopped there. Then I tried to increase my bend and see if that would help for him to get his inside hind under because I thought that that was the issue. That didn't work. Then we started working on just stopping and starting over, which did help. He definitely has really nice um, walk or halt to canter transitions now, but then he continued to kind of just fall apart. Um, and I was really, really struggling to figure out what to do to help him because he canters just fine in the dressage arena and the other arena, the all-purpose arena. But the jump arena has, I feel like, slightly harder footing. So he does struggle a little bit in here, and he was struggling really bad in our lesson, as you guys saw if you watched our jump lesson vlog. So I just kind of continued with the inside bend, trying to get him to just figure out what to do on his own, which was not really useful. And then I broke it back down to the trot, and I was like, let's just get ourselves moving off of the inside hind, because I still felt like that was the problem. And so I started asking for more and more of the inside hind to engage, and just more bending and pushing out. And again, his transitions are great, but it's like, you know, four or five strides in, he starts to lose balance, and he can't keep himself. But after working on the bend and working on some lateral work at the trot, when I went back into the canter, he was doing a little bit better to the right, and I was happy, but while this looks good and it 
just didn't feel good. Like it felt like I, if I wasn't on top of every stride, he was going to fall out of the canner. So that's something that I've been trying to f work on with him is the right ability in that right lead canner. So even though I can get some nice strides or I can get, you know, a whole circle or lap around the arena, sometimes he does fall out of the right lead quite a bit. So this looks pretty good and it ended on a good note to the right here, at least for this part of the ride. But my goodness, he was really, really struggling on this day. And then I stopped him because he's so tired. He was like slamming the brakes on. But we did a long walk after this before we decided to canter to the left. And then I decided since the left lead was so nice to just try one more time to take that feel that I had in the saddle and transfer it to the right lead. And what I realized when I changed directions was that I am seriously bending him to the inside, so much so that he's falling out his left shoulder to the right. So I started right here, taking up a little bit more of a counter flexion and seeing if that would help him and it made a huge difference for him. He definitely was still having some issues with his balance, but like, look at this, like I've never seen him canter with so much impulsion. And like when he lost it, if I had that counter bend, he was able to get it back and he was really feeling great. So that's definitely something I'm gonna take into my next rides and start trying to work on getting him straighter in the shoulders. And I'm also gonna get the chiropractor out for him. I think they're coming in two weeks, so I'm definitely going to see if they can help adjust him. I feel like all this really started when he had that horrible abscess, and now, as you guys saw on this foot trim, it's completely grown out. His foot's basically almost back to normal, and I feel like getting him adjusted hopefully will just bring him back to where he was before he had that massive abscess in his left hind. So yeah, the counterflexion worked like a charm, and that's something that I will keep using when we do our right lead canners, especially in that arena. All right, guys, that was supposed to be a short ride, but it was a problem solving ride. So it wasn't short and it was very difficult for both of us. But I wanted to figure out why the heck in that arena we can never canter right. Like it's been like, I mean, we can canter right. Okay, I'll take that back. But the last two rides in there, he's just been struggling. So I basically tried a whole bunch of things. I tried stopping rebalancing him. That didn't really work that well. I mean, of course it rebalanced him, but it didn't work that well in the moment. I tried to push him into the canter more. Didn't really work, just got more on his forehand. I tried to, um, also this is probably a recap from everything that I said in the voiceover, but anyways. I tried to push him into the canter more, did not work. I tried to do a very drastic inside bend to get the inside hind under him. That did not work. I tried um, letting him just flail about until he felt like it was not comfortable, and then that didn't work. So we finally got something and I decided to do the left lead canner, which as we can see is doing much better, very balanced, felt very good. So I do a simple change, go back to the right. And I thought, you know, maybe I should try doing a little counter bend. Maybe the counter, oh, he's neighing. Maybe the counter bend will help. Well, lo and behold, it did. It helped a bunch. I feel like he, is not waiting long enough on that left hind at all when we're in the right lead canner. And then that gets them all kerfuffled behind and in front too. Oh yeah, she don't like him, this mare. 
so we tried that and it actually worked really well i think it looked better it felt better he was very tired by that point so i just did like a lap or two like circle a circle or two and stopped so i'm going to try that this week i'm going to play with that um counter bend this week to the right and see if that helps i'm even going to try it at the trot to try to get him to balance out a little bit and stop being so weak to the right and see how that works i have a lesson this week so hopefully we can get some of this going a little bit better and easier um before i have my lesson but yeah today was supposed to be an easy day it was not i hope i didn't hurt his feet i shouldn't have technically so we'll see how he is tomorrow but yeah that was a hard ride for us both it was frustrating for us both just run me through the trees and it was just hard so i'm glad it's over i'm gonna cool him out now and then i will see you guys after that all right guys thanks for tuning in today hopefully you can hear me over the wind today was a hard ride but i'm really happy with the results that we got and how he was at the end something i'm definitely going to be working with this week and i will obviously let you guys know how it goes. It'd be really awesome if part of this is just, I can't get this with one hand, if part of this was just that he basically needed more help getting straight behind and it'll just take a couple weeks of this and then he'll be better. But he's basically a superstar pony, so hi. Aw, do you want? Okay. And I'm excited for our lesson this week. All right, thank you guys so much for watching this vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please like and comment if you did and subscribe if you haven't already. See you guys next week.